Hi everyone and welcome to another video by Less Tax Debate. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the new domestic reverse charge uh, under the CI scheme. Uh, today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks and from the subcontractor side. So this is you as a subcontractor that you invoice a main contractor where you'd normally do an invoice plus VAT for your services and materials and those items now fall under the CIS reverse charge domestic reverse charge scheme so for a couple of things to just make sure make sure you're aware these VAT codes will only come about if the CI module is activated in QuickBooks uh, if it's not activated these will not appear when you try and look for them um, at all so it's one little thing in there that you can't activate these by accident whether you're part of the CI scheme or not uh, before I get into the video as I always say please subscribe like the video if you like the video drop a comment if you have any questions uh, but let's get into it so we're into our dashboard as you can see and we've got the CIS module activated now it's very very simple to go and activate these codes so first of all you would go to taxes VAT you've got your VAT here you'd go to edit edit rates and you've got a list of all the VAT codes that are applicable and some of these you can turn off if you're never going to use them like uh, EC standards, uh, EC services standard, EC good zero, EC services zero. If you're never going to use them you can just turn them off and just make them inactive. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this now is just to, to show you what how to find the VAT codes. So now to find the domestic reverse charge VAT codes there's a little cog just above the action just here if you include inactive and we click off that you can see now it's brought up all the inactive VAT codes and these are the two that we're interested in here the domestic reverse charge for CIS and the 5% reverse charge for CIS so all we need to do is just turn them on they're on now let's go and try and do an invoice so we're going to do a sales invoice let's just go to overview on the sales go to invoices Let's go and create an invoice. Now we're going to create a new contract. So we, have, we haven't worked for this contractor before. So we'll do ABC construction. Add. Right, let's just go into the details. We'll make sure that he's, as per the previous videos under the CIS, we've got to make sure he's ticked as a subcontractor. We'll do the invoice for today. CIS labelled, that's fine. Um, we can do five days labour. Um, we'll do it for a thousand pounds. Now we're going to select the domestic reverse charge of CIS, that one there. So what this will do is, as you can see here, if I'd have selected the standard, it would have gone right. A thousand pounds plus VAT minus the CIS equals a thousand pound due. The fact I've selected the, the reverse charge shows that the VAT is already accounted for. But it's also minus the CIS off for you, so then you've got a balance due of £800. If I go and save that invoice, um, just save that invoice, and I go to preview it. Okay. Now you can see on here, this is the code that we've used, the rate, and it shows that the 20% domestic reverse charge has already been used okay for CIS so it's already been used in the VAT invoice so it's a very very simple how to do um, an invoice if we just go to the VAT return just so you can see what it looks like in there okay uh, let's go to prepare return let's put it for the end date to be the 31st of March 2021 all right you can see it's there but what we can do is we can just click on the net value of the sales right and you can see our sales invoice is just here okay if we then go back we also VAT due on sales
it doesn't come on the net due. So it shows that it's all done for you. It's recording the cell and it's recording the uh, VAT element on it as well. Okay, so it's very, very simple. That's how you do a CIS invoice uh, under the domestic reverse charge. If the job was 5%, then you select 5%. But please be aware that this is all information that's linked uh, to the CI scheme. So if you supply materials and then supply labor to fit the job and it's linked, then that all falls under the domestic reverse charge. If you are literally just supplying materials and nothing else, it's still standard rated. Okay, so there are some exemptions from the domestic reverse charge. So like your builders, merchants and everything else, they'll still charge you 20% because uh, they're just supplying materials. So if you just supply materials, this doesn't apply. But if you do anything to do with an install, um, then it will still it will be charged at the domestic reverse charge of 20% or 5% whatever the job is entitled. So that's it for today. Like I say always, please subscribe to the page. Please like the video if you like the video and you found it informative. And also if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. But until next time, we'll see you soon.